Let's take a few minutes to learn about the world's first successful submarine, the Confederate States ship CSS Hunley. We'll read a passage from J. Thomas Sharp's book, A History of the Confederate States Navy, that was written just a few years after the American Civil War ended. Here's a painting of the uh, CSS Hunley. As Scharf called it, uh, the fish torpedo boat that destroyed the federal gunboat Astonic off Charleston Harbor. It was built at Mobile in 1863 by Hunley and McClintock and was arranged with a pair of lateral fins by the use of which it could be submerged or brought to the surface. Her motive power was a hand propeller worked by eight men and it was intended that she should drive under a vessel dragging a torpedo after her which would then explode upon contact with the hull or keel of the enemy vessel. The towed version of the torpedo was replaced with a spar illustrated by this painting. The bomb was placed on the end of the spar called the torpedo and there was 250 feet of rope that were used to detonate it. The submarine would ram the bomb or torpedo into the enemy ship and then back away and the 250 feet of rope would play out ultimately detonating the device. Here's a diagram of the Hunley showing its uh, mode of locomotion which was basically hamster power. You can see the crew cranking their hand cranks. Very small vessel with a knife-like bow, about four feet tall and only a couple of feet wide. The normal crew complement for the Hunley was eight men. From the time she was built at Mobile Bay until she ultimately launched her historic attack against the Histonic in Charleston Harbor, a total of perhaps five entire crews were lost. The website Friends of the Hunley places emphasis on three crews that were lost in Charleston Harbor. The book, History of the Confederate States Navy by Sharif, uh, essentially states that five crews were lost. Which source is correct is a matter of speculation. The book, A History of the Confederate States Navy, describes the poor luck of the Hunley's crew as follows. During an experiment at Mobile, she sank, and before she could be raised, the whole crew were suffocated. Beauregard, in February 1864, accepted this boat for use at Charleston, and a crew of eight men were preparing to take her out for action one night when she was swamped by the wash of a passing steamer, and all hands except Payne were drowned. Again she was raised and once more sunk, this time at Fort Sumter Wharf, when six men were drowned, Payne and two others escaping. When she was brought to the surface, Hunley took her into the Stono River, where after making several successful dives, she stuck her nose into the mud and every soul on board perished by suffocation. For the fourth time she was raised and experiments were made with her in Charleston Harbor. She worked beautifully until she attempted to dive under the receiving ship Indiana Chief when she fouled a cable and once more she proved a coffin for every man within her. Lieutenant Dixon of the 21st Alabama Infantry was the final commander of the Hunley. He received permission to take the warship out into Charleston Harbor and attack the Hustonic, a splendid new ship of war. Lieutenant Dixon's intended victim was the United States Navy vessel, the Hustonic. All the 30 or more men who had met death in the fish were volunteers, but Dixon had no difficulty in finding another volunteer crew ready to take the same risks. It was a little before 9 o'clock on the evening of the 17th when Master J.K. Crosby, officer of the deck of the Hastonic, detected the torpedo boat a scant hundred yards away from the ship. It looked to him, he said, like a plank moving along the water, and before he decided to give the alarm, he had lost the seconds in which he might have saved his vessel. When he did pass the word, her cable was slipped, her engines backed, and all hands called to quarters. But Dixon had closed on her and fired his torpedo on the starboard side. A hole was knocked in her side, extending below her water line, and she went down in four minutes. Five of the Hastonic's people were killed by the shock or drowned. The remainder took refuge in the rigging. The crew members taking refuge in the rigging were rescued by other vessels of the fleet. But the victory of the fish was fatal to herself and her crew. Whether she was swamped by the column of water thrown up by the explosion, or was carried down by the suction of the sinking Astonic, will never be known. 
It is also possible that she may have been rammed by one of the rescue vessels coming to rescue crew members off of the sinking Histonic. The successful explosion of the Hunley's torpedo sent the sloop of war to the bottom in approximately three minutes. The Hunley then surfaced long enough for a crew to signal their comrades on the shore at Sullivan's Island with a blue magnesium light indicating a successful mission. The shore crew stoked their signal fires and anxiously awaited the Hunley's safe return. But minutes after her historic achievement, the Hunley and all hands on board vanished into the sea without a trace. The night of February 17, 1864, history was made as the first successful submarine attack was conducted. At the same moment, a mystery was born. The Hunley became the first submarine ever to sink an enemy ship, but why had she suddenly disappeared? What caused her to sink, and would she ever be found? The world would have to wait until the tools of modern technology could begin to unlock the secrets of the Hunley. In 1995, Arthur and adventurer Clive Klusler found the Hunley resting on the floor of the Atlantic Ocean, intact and remarkably well preserved. The Hunley was found buried deep within the sand and silt just out of Charleston Harbor. The recovery of the Hunley has turned out to be one of the most important single events in the history of South Carolina. After being lost at sea for 137 years, the Hunley was revealed on August 8, 2000, seen for the first time in her entirety. Visit the website Friends of the Hunley to learn all the details and the exciting history about the Confederate submarine CSS Hunley.